Privacy versus pain. Hey there, Scorpio Risers. It's the birthday coach, Jeremy Ryan, saying you were born for more. You deserve more love, happiness, and success. I try to help you do that with the secrets of astrology. And happy holiday seasons right here at the end of 2022. Getting ready for a brand new year coming up. I want to say personal thank you to everyone that watched my video the other day where I was sharing some of uh, how painful things have been since the end of October, you know, at the very end of October when we had that solar eclipse. And for those that were giving me encouragement and support, I appreciate it. Believe it or not, I really do. And it really was a blessing to my spirit. And thank you so much. I just want to talk about that just for a little second more. And then definitely be looking this week. I'm going to be dropping out, getting back into regular teachings for Scorpio Rising. Uh, what area you need to toughen up in or you're going to be crushed? What area you need to toughen up in or you're going to be crushed according to your natal chart? Ha, huh, fun stuff, right? I love astrology because even if you're watching this a thousand years from now, astrology is truth. And it doesn't matter what year, what decade, or what corner of the world, the stars don't lie. And that's what I love. Truth, it doesn't matter what religion or no religion, truth is spoken in, in, in of the heart. And what's, re what's really real can be spoken in any language and understood by any person because that, that's how powerful truth is. And uh, when we get beyond the somatics and get beyond the uh, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. So, all right, I want to talk about privacy versus pain. Now, if you're a Scorpio riser, you absolutely know we are some of the most private people on the planet. And what is interesting is people love talking to us because, you know, there are some shy Scorpios uh, and there are some extrovert. I'm a very outgoing Scorpio. You know, sometimes people are like, are you a Scorpio? Yeah, Scorpios can be outgoing. Well, if a Scorpio is outgoing, they're still very private. Why? Because I'll walk away from a conversation with anybody from the mall, from a restaurant, in the gym, and I'll know everything about them. I'll know their, where they went to school, who they married, how many kids, you know, how many surgeries, what their life ambition is. I mean, nicknames. I know it all. And they'll leave that place thinking, Jeremy's such a great guy but not know hardly anything, probably nothing about me, just for the fact that they felt better because I was such a good guy listening to their life story. So if you're an outgoing Scorpio, you're still very secretive because uh, your privacy is very important. And if you're a shy Scorpio, that doesn't mean people ain't talking because then all of a sudden, oh, you're such a good listener. They're such a good listener. You may not even say nothing, but oh, he listens intensely. So people feel understood and they feel seen and heard. See, that is the power of a Scorpio riser. They allow people to be seen. Seen. And uh, there's no greater thing to, than to really feel like someone sees you, hears you, and understands you. That's the gift that a Scorpio riser gives with having that eighth house ability. And they, what's eighth house? Psychology. What's eighth house? It's, it's deepness, right? It's the deep things. It's, it's being open-minded to the, the areas of life people don't want to talk about. We're comfortable. We're talking about all areas of life. And so a lot of people can't talk about things because there's an uncomfortableness. But you come to a Scorpio riser and all of a sudden they let down their guard and they feel like they can talk about things that they normally wouldn't share with anyone else. And because they're able to unburden themselves, uh, they feel so much lighter. Now, we may feel heavier, but they feel lighter. I think that's one of the things about Scorpio risers is people, they could say, oh, there's a darkness to them. There's a mystery to them. There's a secrecy to them. Uh, even some may fear us, but in the end, they walk away lighter. Why? Because we take their darkness and we give them light. And uh, yada, yada, yada. You all know that already. Uh, but what am I want to talk about? So as for many of you know that I have gone through some deep personal loss in the last month or so and um, doing a lot of grieving, a lot of healing. Uh, I think I'm just now healing. I can't say I'm doing a lot of healing. I did a lot of grieving, but now I'm starting to heal. And uh and a lot of that, thanks you for those that are, that gave me, you know, the encouragement to be myself. Thank you for allowing me to be vulnerable. That's the gift of Scorpio Rising, right? They allow people to be vulnerable without judgment. Um, now, 
of Scorpio Riser can judge, they can give right judgment to you on how to handle a crisis. Do this. Don't do this. Go here. Don't go there. Think this. Think that. This is what really matters. So there's a lot of judgment as far as being able to discern, discernment, uh, just common sense that comes to the Scorpio Risers in the midst of a crisis, right? So when I said I was hurting, it's not that I haven't had crisis in my life. Come on, folks. I'm a middle-aged Scorpio Riser. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to give all the parts of my chart, but I'm, I'm a Pluto conjunct sun, Pluto opposite moon. Listen, forget the conjunct sun. I'm a Pluto opposite moon. I understand crisis. Uh, but uh, most of the time, what is that? Most of the time, that's helping other people in their crisis. Most of the time, that's helping to heal other people. Uh, and like I said, when I was younger, I had to learn not to get pulled in the drama because if you get pulled in the drama, now you become the scapegoat and you become the person that is uh, being punished for everyone else's drama. If you haven't watched any of my Scorpio Rising series, go watch that stuff. Go watch the first 17 lessons about what it means to grow up with this rising sign. So this ain't my first rodeo uh but the hurt that i had suffered uh in the last month or so was definitely personal of a very personal and private nature and as a scorpio riser my privacy is so important that rarely will i ever share uh my pain but the reason I'm bringing this up is because some of you Scorpio risers are facing the same thing that I am going through right now in the area of grief and loss and confusion and powerlessness and hurt and disappointment. Uh, that this is what I want to say. Here is a statement that I want to say that I have found to be true for me and that I think will be true for you. And that statement is this. Sometimes the pain is greater than your privacy and you must share in order to heal. There's an old scripture, and I know a lot of you don't like scriptures, but call it an old wise tale or saying that uh, confession is good or healing or soothing to the soul. And for many of us, we don't really want to talk about our problems. We don't want to talk about our trials. We will be strong enough to get through it. Uh, and most of the time, that's going to be the case. Most of the time, a Scorpio riser is just going to be able to push through their pain privately. But there will be times in your life that the pain is greater than your privacy. And when that happens, the only healing comes through is professing, professing that pain, talking, sharing, speaking without judgment, without trying to make it feel okay for anyone else. You're just hurting so bad. You don't care. You just, you, you, your, your pain is overriding your sense of privacy. And if that is happening right now, don't shut it down. Don't hold it in. Don't try to do it alone. Don't try to go it alone. I literally, folks, this is funny. I know it's going to sound crazy. I literally probably last month, last two or three weeks, I literally cried in front of total strangers. I can think of three times that my my talking about my pain was so, the pain was so real that I didn't care about the privacy no more. I just, I had to share it with somebody or anybody and uh, what well, was funny, the spirit normally takes a Scorpio riser and when they're going through something, brings them into the, the presence of someone else that is experiencing that same type of pain. And it was funny is, is I ran into three strangers that was going through a similar pain that I was going through. And literally, we just cried. We looked at each other and cried. I didn't even know their name. They didn't even know my name. And we're sitting there and we're crying. And some of you are like, well, how in the hell did you get so personal being a Scorpio? Well, first of all, Scorpio Riser is going to be able to connect with a lot of people. Uh, you know, we're a magnet to people when they're going through something. And part of our healing comes through healing others. Uh, but in this time, I couldn't just heal someone I, or, or be there for someone. I had to share my pain too. And in the sharing of my pain, in the process of sharing my pain, 
almost overriding my innate nature to be private is what's helping me heal right now. So this is not a great aha for everyone. And not all of you Scorpio risers are going through the pain that I'm going through right now. Because in astrology, it's not just... It's not just because of the solar eclipse. A lot of it has to do with how old you are. A lot of it has to do what dasha, what time period you're running. Um, and then things just line up in a certain way. Uh, but you young Scorpios, I do want to tell you, there will come a time when you will feel what I'm feeling. And I want to discourage you. I want to tell you in the midst of your pain, don't fall back on your privacy. Find people. That you can share your tears, your disappointment, your anger, your hurt, your frustration. Uh, because we like to be in control. We like to, we don't like to look like we're losing control. Another word for control is our composure. We like to keep our composure. But boy, when that pain runs as deep as I felt, you'll lose that composure. you will lose that composure and that's okay. And uh, I will leave you with this. I have always felt like I was a good person. I am a good person. I've always been caring. I've always been kind. Uh, a lot of that because I have strong Neptune. So a strong Neptune is a very compassionate. Pisces is a very compassionate soul. Uh, water signs are compassionate. Scorpios are compassionate in their own way. And um, so I'm very good and kind and caring and concerned about people. Uh, but I have to say that it, that my level, so my goodness was there, but my level of compassion I don't think I had the level of compassion that I, I wish I could say that I have now. This experience of some things that I am going through that is greater than me. That has brought about a sense of hopelessness. Um, I'm feeling hope now, so I'm not depressed. I'm feeling hope now, and I can't go into everything because I'm trying to not protect my privacy, but protect the privacy of some people that I love. And uh, there is uh, a compassion. Now, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to get sympathy. I'm trying to tell you that that there's a level of compassion that can only come from your pain. And there's a level of understanding of what it means to be human when you go through something. There's something that I'm going through that I would have avoided in other people. There's certain people that I think I would have stood away from, not because I was casting judgment, but more out of maybe fear or ignorance or a misunderstanding, not, not having enough information. And spirit has just totally put me in a position to where I would have to realize some of the myths and misunderstandings that people have about certain things. And I know I'm being vague. But uh, I leave you with this, is that there is a compassion that I have for certain people now in certain situations that maybe before I would have been more judgmental. Let's be honest, more more of the logical, because I am a Virgo. Don't hold that against me, a Virgo son. And so maybe some of that logicalness on my mind would be like, well, what about this and what about that? And how could you allow this or do that? And, and boy my heart has been expanded in such a way to have a compassion that it, it literally probably didn't have before. So I love all of you. I will get back uh, probably tomorrow or the next day and do some practical teaching on astrology. I, it's, it's powerful. Astrology is powerful. It's a tool to use. Uh, it's a tool, but also worship's a tool. Prayer is a tool. Doing good things is a tool. Studying is a tool. Taking care of yourself, resting is a tool. There's lots of tools out there. 
And so uh, we will get back to the tool of astrology this week. Uh, but when the pain is greater than your privacy, that's okay. That's the time to reach out to other people for help and allow yourself to heal. And be compassionate to yourself and be kind and gentle with yourself. Hey, we're all human. We're human. We're, we're human for a moment. We're human. We're in our limitations for just a moment. We're in our sorrow and pain and hurt for just a moment. There's a lot of joy and excitement in being human. There's a lot of great taste and adventure in being human. Uh, and we have the both. We have the, the, the excitement and then sometimes we have that loneliness uh, but the good thing is this, the expansion of our spirit is eternal. And so be kind to yourself in those other moments when you don't feel so expansive. God bless.